Hey YouTube, what's up? In this video, I will be going over once again on iCloud features. Now, uh, there's this iCloud feature of automatic downloads, which I have, which I have demoed. You can see, uh, you can see that video by clicking right somewhere on the screen. However, the second, the second thing which I will be telling you about, which I have, it's quite an hour time now actually, is that keeping all your devices in sync. So, if you have an iP app on your iPod, you know, you can, and you want it on your iPhone. You know, you don't need to go ahead over to App Store search for that application again. You know, there's proper tab, proper application in which you go and you will see all the applications that you have gotten. Similarly, if you go to App Store and if you go to Updates column, you will see and tab right above which will be Purchased. Let's let's give this a time. There we go, Purchased. Over here you will see two... Alright, there we go. I don't know what happened there. Alright, so... If you go to all, you know, these are all the applications that you have downloaded on your iPhone, on your iPod, on your iPad, from your, from your Apple account, from your iTunes ID. However, if you go not on this iPod, this will show you all the applications that you don't have currently on your iPod right now. Alright, so similarly, I do not have voice reminders beefs. Maybe I have it on my iPhone, maybe I have it on my iPad, maybe I have it downloaded on my app app uh, on my computer you know I just deleted it from my iPod touch anything could happen so I can go ahead and download let's say a uh, weave let's say and I'm gonna start downloading right so the same thing could be found over here in i in iBooks as well to keep all your books in sync so if you go to purchased you have got the similar tabs all and not on this iPod on all you will see all the applications that you have all the books sorry, that you have downloaded from your same iTunes account and there's one that I haven't downloaded so which means that these two are on my iPod but this is not on my iPod so if I go and say not on this iPod that book will be showing over here will be showed here I think now yeah, there we go and now I can go ahead and say download and now it's going to start downloading like here so it's pretty nice application. It's pretty nice, you know. Uh, you know that Apple are doing a fantastic job in keeping, you know, in doing this synchronization between all their Apple devices. So I really like this feature a lot, and I can't wait for this feature to be officially released on iOS 5. So guys, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do subscribe to my channel and do follow me on Twitter at dtech101. And I will meet you in the next video. Bye bye.